Hey everyone, welcome to Star Ocean The Divine Force Demo. Oh, I love, I love the main theme of Star Ocean, it's so good. I'm a huge fan of this series, everyone. Huge fan. Uh, three is my favorite, two is fantastic, and four was okay. Five, we do not speak of. Five was a huge letdown, so if any game coming out this year, and it is coming out like next month, I think, if any game needs to be good for me, it's this one. I really want to see Star Ocean return to form. It's been, uh, it's been on a pretty, pretty nasty downward uh, spiral lately, in my opinion. So, huge, huge hopes for this one. I don't know if it's going to be good or not, and that's uh, why I'm really glad they've given us a demo. Square, just throwing these demos at us like blooming confetti. So, let's, uh, let's check it out. Now, I believe the demo is pretty much the beginning of the game. And there's a pretty lengthy opening cutscene that uh, I'll just kind of show in its entirety. And I probably won't talk th uh, too much during it, so uh, if anyone hates my voice, it will be a nice reprieve. We're going to start a new game. Really, really excited to try this, but also incredibly nervous. I really want this to be good. Uh, you cannot choose your protagonist in the demo, so yeah, it looks like they're going kind of back to its roots a little bit, where you get a choice of protagonist. Uh, they did that in 2, I know, for sure. I'm not sh I don't- you couldn't do that in 3, and I actually don't remember about 4, but... Uh, this is pretty cool. Now, I don't know who the, uh, the lady is, but, uh, our dude here- Oh my god, that's- that was pretty loud. Um, the dude here is called Raymond, and that's about all I know about him, other than he has incredible hair. So, uh, fingers crossed this is fun, chaps. We have uh, different difficulties, pretty standard for the series, although in the demo we can only choose standard, which is absolutely fine. Uh, the English voice acting is what I'm going to be going with. Let's hope it's good. And here we go. This ocean of stars, who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. How vast the universe must have seemed to them. Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. But if only those dreamers knew what I know now. That humankind harbors a voracious hunger. One not even the limitless cosmos can sate. That was a very ominous voiceover. From uh, Erica Lindbeck, I think? Jesse from FF7. Pretty cool. Uh, another 24 hours and we're off the clock. Gotta say, this has been one easy gig. Yes, I suppose it has. Would you care for more coffee, Ray? Sure. Don't get ahead of yourself, Ray. Or, uh, Captain. Seriously, something's up today. I can feel it. Your sixth sense again. I'll take your word for it. Human's intuition is a mystery to me. Hey, danger tends to rear its ugly head when you least expect it. Maybe pirates are sneaking up on us as we speak. Oh, ha ha, laugh it up, you guys. <laughs> for real, though, you've got to relax. Look how quiet it is out there. Huh? See? This is what you get for ignoring me. Probably just some random asteroid field or something. Huh? Scanning craft. Verified. Pangalactic Federation battleship, the Astoria. As in their latest and greatest. I heard it also has a Kenny on board. What's it doing so far outside of Fed space? Warning. Phase cannon fired. Distance 350,000 clicks. Take evasive action. Starboard thrusters to full power. There's no time. Everyone brace for impact. Shields holding at 78%. What are Patch you doing this? Patch a single boot. Tell them we're not hostiles, damn it. No response. Second strike incoming. No way! Proton torpedoes? Get schematic. 
Hydraulics on screen. Find us a way out of here now. No good. Cannons fired at our projected course. Shields down to 12%. Weapons activity detected. Readying third strike. Still no response from the Astoria. It seems they have no intention of letting us go. Nothing? Ray, they've ceased fire. Your orders. Abandon ship. All crew members, get to an escape pod. Wait. We must consider the cargo. Is evacuating the correct course of action? These are feds we're dealing with here. If we don't clear out now, we're goddamn space dust. This job isn't worth our lives. Captain's orders. Evacuate immediately. Send a tie up. Don't worry. I'll be right behind you. I'll be fine. Come on. Open, you stupid. Power has been cut from this section of the ship. No matter how hard you try, you won't be able to open that door. Elena? The Astoria has fired on us. I'm sorry, but there's not enough time to save the cargo before impact. You have one minute. That's more than enough time. Now help! Yes, Captain. No! Hey! Stop! What do you think you're doing? Elena! <laughs> She's strong. Elena! The crew of the Edis needs you. Good luck, Ray. And goodbye. No! Oh, crud. Yeah, this is quite the intro. Holy crap. I already love Elena, by the way. <laughs> I already love Elena so much. Computer. Number and location of all ejected pots. According to the latest record, nine of the 49 escape pots have been successfully jettisoned and are now untraceable. This ocean of stars. Who first gazed up at it? Dreamt that it held the key to humanity's future. <laughs> How could they? Ray. Elena. I'm so scared. How vast the universe must have seemed to them. Unending and eternal, filled with infinite possibility. Setting course. Fourth planet of the Aster Star System. Warp 2.1. Estimated arrival, five days. An underdeveloped planet? I can't take this! But humanity is insatiable. It is that hunger, that bottomless greed, that drives them. And they will not rest until they have claimed every last star in the sky. Escape vessel located within communication range. <gasps> That's gotta be close. Open up a channel. Ray? Oh, thank goodness! Is Elena okay? It is you. Man, I'm glad to hear your voice. Elena, she... She's safe. So let's you and me worry about our own hides. We're headed for an underdeveloped planet, Ray. Relax. People back home probably just got our Mayday call. They're coming. So until they get here, just think of this as an adventure, okay? Entering orbit around the fourth planet in the Aster Star System. Shoot! Just hold on! I'm coming! 
coming, okay? Ooh, I like that intro. That's cool. If only those dreamers knew what I know now. That you can only push the universe so far before it starts to push back. Arriving on Aster 4. Planetary surface found to be sufficient for all life forms aboard craft. Initiating emergency protocol. Distress signal activated. All right. Let's hope someone picks that up. Otherwise, we are SOL. What does SOL mean? Also, that is a really pretty sky. Alright, am I gonna have control now? Yes! Okay, so... If you don't know what Star Ocean is, it's pretty much... The best way I can describe it is, like... Anime Star Trek with insane... Over-the-top combat. And I love it, I do. I think this is such a cool... Something different, but it's funny how in see, in every single game you always end up on some underdeveloped planet where like it's all medieval and stuff. But I, I love that too. So uh, icons mark your next destination in the story. Okie dokie. Oh, my legs are freaking killing me. Could do with a stretch. Yeah, and the soundtrack's usually amazing too. Like I say, I do love the the main Star Ocean theme. That intro gave me goosebumps, and I'm pr I'm pretty sure it's Erica Lindbeck. She voiced um. I, could, I hope I'm getting her name right, but she voiced Shion in Tales of Arise and, yeah, Jesse in FF7. I, I have a huge crush on her voice. She is such a good... I didn't even know she was in this game. I'm so glad she is. That's actually a, a huge bonus. Uh, but so far, I, I like the characters. We've not really seen much of them. Um, right, and yeah, this is uh, an action RPG. Now, an area where 5 really stumbled, in my opinion, was the combat. So I'm hoping that they've... Uh, you know, fix that. Well, the pod's electronics seem to be working just fine. It is just for emergency escape, though, so useless now. And another cutscene. Oh, we are going to get attacked. We are so going to get attacked. Right. Computer, give me all known locations of Vita's crew members. Unable to locate escape crafts jettisoned from the Edis. Of course. So then where's Chloe's pod? I saw her enter orbit. The vessel's descent was interrupted by an electromagnetic cannon. The onboard computer was likely damaged in the attack. Underdeveloped my ass. Computer, get an emergency signal through to my brother, Antonio Lawrence, and be quick about it. Attempting to contact Antonio Lawrence, captain of the merchant vessel. Oh God, what is that? It's a giant frog. It's a giant frog. Oh my god. Combat tutorial time. Oh! Thanks! You've a death wish. Two arms! No idea what's going on, but not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth. Alright, let's rumble! Oh, I love me a big sword. Let's go. Alright, how is combat gonna be? This is the biggest question for me. Right. Oh, this is so Star Ocean music too. I love it. Different skills allow you to attack, use items, add buffs or debuffs, damage the enemy using attack skills, which are assigned to circle, square, and triangle. Reduce an enemy's HP to zero to win the battle, you don't say. Uh, you need to fi uh, a fixed amount of AP to use a particular assigned skill. If you do not have enough AP, the skill will not activate. And it recovers over time. You can cancel the final motion at the end of a skill by pressing a different button that will activate the next skill immediately. Okay, so basically combos. Alright. Alright. Right, giant uh, Giga Toad, and we've got friends. Uh... Ooh, that was cool. That was 
Oh, I've no AP. Oh, they killed it already. Ah, oh, that was too quick. Thanks for that. Don't know what I would have done if you. Silence. Who are you? <laughs> Sheesh. And if I tell you, you'll let me go, right? Let you go? After witnessing you exiting a foreign ship? <laughs> You're more fool than you look. Wait. Uh, you two know that's a ship? Let me guess. You're the assholes who shot us down, aren't you? Incoming. Long range subspace transmission from Antonio Lawrence. Huh? Raymond! It's me, Antonio. Can you hear me? Ray, come in! I knew you weren't alone. <laughs> Show yourself! <laughs> Who in the hell are you? This isn't Raymond Lawrence. Step into the light. Hey, <laughs> asshole. Harm a single hair on my brother, and your planet scorched Earth. You hear me? Raymond, where are you? How is this possible? This voice? I see no one. <laughs> uh, big ask, I know, but mind if I answer him real quick? After that, I swear, I'm all yours. Very well. Princess. If he truly had armed fighters waiting, we would be slain several times over by now. Go on. Do not keep your comrade waiting, Sir Raymond Lawrence. Oh, why, thank you, milady. <laughs> And uh, as for your butler or whatever, uh, <laughs> you telling him to back it up. How dare you? As you wish, we shall give you the space you ask in good faith. In exchange, you will tell us who you are and the nature of your talking airship. Awesome. Okay. Sounds like we got a deal. What the feds don't know can't hurt them. Okay, I love this dynamic already. I don't know who these Antonio. people are. It's me, Raymond. But I love him. Uh, Ray, are you okay? Yeah, define okay. Had a run-in with the Federation, and it didn't end too well for the Yidus. What the hell? Emergency landing on some planet called Aster 4. Locals are real friendly. And listening right now. Are you shitting me? Chloe's down here somewhere, too. But I lost track of her pod on entry. And big question mark on the rest. Look, you've got to get here, man. We need you. Sir Raymond, Antonio. Hey, that voice. That one of Aster's friendly locals. I can guarantee Raymond's safety while he is stranded in this land. On one condition. You answer my question. Are you aligned with the Vale Empire? The who? Yeah, uh, don't even know him. Vile dissembler. <laughs> Al Baird. Your comrades. Have you any idea of their whereabouts? Well, at the moment, not a clue. A girl named Chloe was riding one of these when she crashed way that away. And this ship, is it possible for anyone to pilot it? Yeah. I mean, that's kind of the point of them. That said, mine's run out of juice, so it's not going anywhere for the time being. So, if we provide it with more of this juice, theoretically, would we be able to pilot it? <laughs> Aren't you a curious one? Huh? <laughs> Can it be? Hey, speak of the devil. Madness. Oh, how magnificent. Computer, get me a read on that craft. Was it from the Yidis? Who's on it? Readings indicate the pod was also ejected from the Edith. No passenger signal detected. Is there a town or something in that direction? Um, not a town, no. Only the Madoom ruins. Albert, you must see this. Uh, Highness, thanks for the info. Oh, and, uh, gonna hang on to this for a while longer. Halt. Sorry, buddy, but no can do. Hold there. We will accompany you. The ruins can be a treacherous place. And two friendly locals could assist. Oh, for the love of... Ah, fair point. Thank you. You may call me Leticia. And this gentleman here is Albert. Stand down, Albert. We are here to help him. 
Is that clear? As you wish. Leticia, you might be my new favorite. <laughs> awesome. Hey, Antonio, we'll catch up later, all right? Wish us luck. Uh, roger that. Stay safe down there. That's clever. <laughs> you guys. I'll explain the ins and outs of all this junk once I know my crew's safe. So, we got a deal? Yes, we do. Shall we then, Raymond? Uh, uh, wait. No more full name stuff. Just Ray is good. <laughs> all right. Uh, Ray? Awesome. Okay, let's move. <laughs> I do. I love her. Right, and now Baird, the uh, ever-suffering servant, I'm guessing. Okay, we have control again, and uh, we've got party members now. Can I open my uh, menu? Yes, I can. Uh, you can sort your characters, check the stats, and change equipment. Uh, strength level of your character, EXP points. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, explaining the stats. Guts, cause evade, status effects. Okay, you can switch the order of your party members, and... Alright, yeah, I, I get it. I've played I've played a few JRPGs before, game. Uh, this is a nice looking menu. Now, a couple of things immediately is... I think the animation of some of the character models is a little bit off. Specifically, uh, specifically with Raymond. As you can tell, it's not quite... I mean, for one thing, I'm, I'm probably... I'm gonna guess that they're lip-synced with the Japanese anyway, but... Yeah, a little bit rough around the edges, but it's okay. Uh, Raymond, you have a... What the heck is that sword called? A bow of veer? I have no idea. We've got a curious Accessory slots. Chain combos. Oh, okay. So I'm guessing we'll be able to assign these. Yes. Right. Now, I have no idea how much we're actually going to get to grips with this in this demo. And I'm not going to be playing the whole demo, by the way. This is just a, a kind of a first look at it. So please do check it out if you're uh, curious. But looks like we've got Boulder Crush. That's the Fire Sword that we used very briefly. That first fight was so short. I wish, I wish the enemy had more HP. Uh, quick Ripper. All right. Passive skills. Don't have any right now. Check and strengthen skills. Okay. Expend SP to increase skills level and strengthen abilities. Alright. Looks like we can level up our individual skills. Uh, I have no SP right now. Active skill, passive skill. Okay. And, ooh, we got skill trees. By unlocking nodes, you can boost character stats and learn new skills. To unlock a node, you must spend SP. Okay. Oh, I like the look of this. Guts up. Intelligence. Attack. Yeah, it's, it's kind of like the sphere grid. I always compare things to the sphere grid in FF10. All right, cool, cool. What else is there? Uh, oops. Oh, it was R2. Oh, we've got a map. Okay, very nice. That's the map again. We have inventory. We've got some blue uh, blueberries. Very good, although they're purple. Uh, healing items. All of our different weapons. And collection. Ah, now this is something I remember loving in Star Ocean 3 was like reading the encyclopedia because this this series has so much lore. It's incredible how like in-depth it is. Uh, which again is where I kind of feel like the Star Trek comparisons come in. What was the name of the thing uh, that we... Uh, like you're, you're not supposed to interfere with underdeveloped planets. I can't remember what that like treaty was called. Ah. Uh, but, yeah, we are totally violating that right now. Uh, and I, I'm not a Trekkie, so I, I can't really say what it is in Star Trek, but I know there's something very similar in that as well. Uh, and the music is insane right now, even though nothing is really happening. So I guess we've got to go that way. We can sprint. We are approaching the Madoom Ruins. 
If we follow the pillars to the west, it should come into view. Can you tell our direction by reading the stars? Nah, but don't worry. I got this. Hmm? Oh, very well. Shall we then? Shall we? Yeah, she looks like a paladin from Final Fantasy XIV. And she seems to be royalty of some kind as well. Can I can I swap? So oh, I can! To me. Excellent! Trust Just with the D-pad. Pretty cool. What's stop mode? Freeze time with stop mode by pressing the touchpad. You can take your time, use items, change up your strategy, and select targets. Oh! Okay, so for those of you who are not super into, like, fast-paced action combat, you have a little bit of a breather. I do like when games implement stuff like that. That is actually really sweet. When performing quick HP recovery, you can use a series of two-star or fewer items automatically to heal. Can't be used during battle. Press circle to cancel quick HP recovery. Okay. Freeform, maintain focus. Okay, so that's our different strategies. Ah, oh, yeah, stop mode. This is cool. This is very, very cool. And then we can just open our uh, items. Nice. Right, what's field skill? Oh, okay, so we can just slash stuff. I'm guessing that's for, like, getting the drop on enemies. Follow my lead. You got some pretty cool weapons, dude. I like the clothes uh, physics as well. Right then, let's have a look around. Are there going to be any items to find? I'm probably not going to be allowed to go this way. Oh no, I am allowed to go this way. Little critters running around. I want to get into some fights. I want to see how this combat is properly. What's this over here? Why is that glowing? Watch your step. There is not a head, but a sheer cliff. Yikes. That is a the holy crap. The are across the other side. Let us proceed with caution. That is a long way down. I see, I see enemies down there. Right, well, it's telling me to go the other way. The, I wonder if there are chests to find. There usually is. Maybe not around here just yet. It's hard to tell. I mean, the game, it's obviously nighttime, but I mean, that sky for... Graphics, so far, are pretty much what I expected. Nothing mind-blowing, but not too shabby either. But yeah, some of the character animations, it's a bit, yeah, Ray Raymond's face, I don't know, bugs me a little bit. But as a character so far, I don't mind him. Let's see what's this way. Oh yeah, we got some monsters. Mist Graves. Right, press L1 to dodge attacks. You can roll away and quickly put distance between you and the enemy. Since you are in invincible, able to avoid attacks at the start, you can dodge to close the gap on... Okay, so we have in in uh, iframes. You can perform feats, and it does not consume AP. Oh, I didn't mean to... Uh, I didn't mean to skip that. Okay, so that's dodge. Enemy defeated. They are killing things too quick. I'm barely getting chance. Also, I've noticed with the uh, playing this on PS5, the haptic feedback. Uh, controller, I feel every single step I'm making, which is weird. <laughs> it's weird. Been a while since I've swung a sword around, but... Oh, okay. Uh, yep, yeah, we can change characters. Let's try... I guess I still got it. Let, 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 I forget how you say her name now. You guys are killing the enemies too quick. I, I'm not even getting a feel for this yet. Hopefully we'll fight something a little bit tougher that will last a bit longer. The forest is full of monsters at night, huh? Guess I'm lucky to have met some people out here. Even if they are a little eccentric. <laughs> Alright, we got some honeybees. Big bloody honeybees. Steady, everyone. Targeting! Yeah, you can perform attacks on an enemy that is marked with a target. Yeah, R3 lock on. Switching with the D-pad. 
and I can do stop mode in the middle of battle. I love, right, I've always, in fact, Star Ocean 3 is kind of where I noticed, I, I don't know if it's a fetish or something, but I love it in really hectic combat systems when you can pause it and kind of look around and look at all the different spell effects and things. I love that shit, man. Okay. Right, well, there's only one enemy I can target right now. No, there isn't. There's one over there, too. Let's uh, swap to Albed. And X. Oh, X is jump. Okay. Oh, will you stay still? Ooh, that was good. Okay, yeah, Albert's got some pretty cool moves. Oh my god. Boom! Okay, now... Oh, no AP. Oh, I leveled! When you defeat enemies, you accumulate enough XP, yada yada yada, we get skill points. Right. Oh my god, these things are so nimble. This is where uh, having a ranged attack would be good. Nice. Okay. It's feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. Very, uh, very hectic with those enemies just flying around all over the place, but... Oh, it's a campfire. Who's been staying here, then? Oh, we can rest? About time for a rest. Yeah, okay, right. Let's, uh, let's go spend some of our, uh, skill points. Uh, we'll go for some attack. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Love the jingles. Excellent. Um, I have no SP left, right? Oh, we've, we've picked up some fresh sage. Uh, ah, they haven't leveled yet. Okay. Yeah, they're still level one. Right. Oh, hello. I see a chest. There we go. Sweet. Sweet. More fresh sage. Right, follow the pillars. The stairs, they lead to the entrance of the ruins. Got it. Let's go. First, I want to kill more honeybees. Oh, we got the surprise attack too. Nice. Also, I've noticed I have more AP now. And they've gained a level. Sweet. Silver? Ooh. Yeah, so far this feels pretty good, chaps. I've got to say. I've got to say, I've just played um, Valkyrie Elysium, and that combat felt really good. This is definitely different, but I don't know. For, again, I, I love me some action RPGs. I find these combat systems so much fun. And, uh, yeah. I, I'd, say, I'd say so far this game's impressing me a lot more than 5 did, but it has been a while since I've played 5, so... The, I will say the enemies are very easy. The enemies are super easy. What's all this, what are all the glowing stuff? Sweet. Oh, mixed berries. Scruffy rag? Okay, so just kind of random junk lying around. Field attack. You can destroy certain objects by attacking with square. You might find an item that way. Ooh, okay. Yeah, let's break these uh, really old, probably precious uh, monuments. Let's do it. Screw, screw not interfering with the uh, the underdeveloped planet. Let's just destroy everything. These stairs look a little dangerous. Even if we did try to climb them, they'd probably give way. Really? <laughs> then perhaps we should go around. The west side looks scalable, does it not? That looks exactly the same. It looks exactly the same as those stairs. What's wrong with these stairs? They'll be fine. Well, we can't actually climb up there. Okay. Attack! I know. I know how to attack objects. Game. Sweet. 
Can I attack these? Nope. <laughs> that is a really quick slash, isn't it? Wow. Uh, yep, use uh, next to jump. Whoop. Come on, Ray. Come on, Raymond. Everybody hates Raymond. Actually, yeah, I don't mind him. I, in fact, all the characters so far. Very good. I mean, Elena is a total thirst trap. And she seems like she's like an android or something. Visibility is poor in such darkness. Pray, mind your footing. I'm good. So long as whatever we just saw doesn't show its ugly face again. It holds dominion over this area. Rarely should it appear at all. Well, that is comforting. <laughs> also, yeah, there's floating rocks. Is that normal? Don't get cocky. Corpses? Zombies in this world? What? Yeah, I'm trying to get a feel for the... Uh, why do I have so much AP all of a sudden? I'm trying to get a feel for, like, the combos. But obviously, I, I don't think the combat's going to be too complex at this early stage, obviously. You two have some killer moves. They do. Pretty used to fighting monsters, too, by the look of it. Is that how it is for everyone who lives here? Yes. Well, more or less. Uh, whoa. We must press on! They do. The, 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 uh, the, the AI for the uh, computer is uh, is very effective at killing them very quickly, so I barely get a look in. Alright, I think we've made it. Alright, in we go. Uh, oh yeah, attack, uh, so is, is how much damage we do. Doom, huh? It's massive. Ancient and powerful Assyrian semiomancers once called these hallowed halls home. Semiomancers? in the old texts. Okay, didn't get all of that, but I'll save the Q&A for later. For now, let's focus on getting in and getting out. Thieving scumbag. Enemies, dead ahead. Get the jump on Ooh, that was a good skill. Holy crap. Yeah, so far combat is very, very easy. Anything over this way? Oh, yeah, we got some more materials. Bit of money. And more things to destroy. Iron. Do mind your footing. It is much safer not to stray from the path. Prepare yourself for battle. Quite hard to sneak up on enemies, it seems, as well. I don't know how I did it before. Hey, Raymond gained a level. And just the, the really fast swapping between characters. You know, very much like in the uh, 7 remake. I'm going to compare those two a lot because that is. Oh, that, that game, that combat system was so good. Yeah, even with the uh, freeze and everything as well, quite similar. Leave it to me. All right, there was a campsite over there, but I probably don't even need to really rest at it. Any chests around? No. Nope. How big's this area? Wow. Yeah. Okay. These zones are pretty big. expert on the regional history, but folks here don't seem too friendly. Before the kingdom became as we know it now, this was the heart of civilization in the western part of the continent. It is said that much of the culture and knowledge that served as the foundation of our kingdom was created in this very place. So wow. the riffraff left behind by the changing times wind up here, left to fend for themselves, huh? Yeah, there's, there's always a huge element of learning about each planet's, like, culture and history. And I, I wonder how many planets we're going to get to in this uh, game, like, where the story's going to go. Because Star Ocean... Sweet! Shot, yeah, sweet! We got some shoddy paper! Fuck yeah! Star Ocean has uh, had some pretty wild story elements over the course of the games. And I'm thinking specifically of three. If you've played it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's kind of... kind of batshit. 
And so every game after 3 has kind of felt weird to me because of certain story elements, but it's still fine, it's still fun. Again, 5 five sucks ass, but you know. The others, the others were good. Four was, 4 was fine. Just have to get used to every 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 blooming game I've played lately. Oh, well time dodge, nice. Has a different dodge button. Some games it's circle, some games it's X, some games it's L1. Ouch! Slash line there. All right, so can I just use um? Ah, you can't use items in stop mode. So how do I use items? Oh, now I can. Okay, okay. Yeah, that's fine. We don't need to heal right now. I think we should be fine. Well done here. Yeah, I'm having a good time with this, you know. I'm actually really, really happy I'm having a good time with this, because like I said, uh, if any game I needed to return to its former glory, it's Star Ocean. It deserves to. It's a great IP. But whether or not you're, you're going to be into... Ooh, Guarding Ring. If you're going to be into games like this, you know, super, super anime, very tropey, it's, you know, you're going to know already if you're going to enjoy this game, I think, but let's equip our uh, accessory, which increases, uh, does it increase? <laughs> I'm guessing just my defense? Um... Yeah, I, I, I guess so. Yeah, defense plus f four. There we go. And it, yeah, increases guts as well. I can't remember what they said guts was, but I'm, I'm sure we'll uh, we'll figure that out. Oh man, I think I think I'm gonna have to get this game, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna have to. There's so many games coming out. It's ridiculous. We have company. Damn it. I'm definitely not good at this combat yet. It's gonna take some getting used to. God, you. Oh, that was the chief scumbag. Oh, I didn't mean to escape. Oh no, I didn't want to escape. No, finish him off. There we go. Whew. Yeah, please do let me know. If you've tried the demo, what do you think? Whenever I do these videos, I always get a, a huge uh, variety in responses. Some people are just, like, shitting on the game for no reason. Some people will be like, oh, no, it's really, really good. And others will be kind of in the middle. Um, let me know. What do you think? Again, I don't know how much longer I'm going to play the demo for now, but I am having a good time. And yeah, combat does feel does feel quite nice. Ouch. Except when you get beaked to death. Oh, what level are we now? We probably have quite a bit more SP to spend, don't we? Oh god, we're level 4! Holy crap! Yeah, let's get some new things for Raymond. Uh, outrage, a new skill. Five hit slash and kick combo. Cannot be interrupted by attacks. Dodge to end the combo early. Alright, yeah, let's get that bad boy. And I guess we'll get some more attack. Attack plus 12%. Oh, I don't have enough SP? Oh, I don't. I have no. I have two. Okay. Uh, can I not swap between characters easily in the skill tree menu? Uh, it doesn't look like it. A little bit annoying. Right, uh, let's go for some intelligence. Actually, no, some defense. What other things can we learn? Oh, different resistances. Extend dodge. All right. Doodle -doodle -doodle. Just about to get that as well. Oh, hang on. What are this? What's this skill? Grand Mo Mol here. A flurry of thrusts cannot uh, cannot down enemies, but good for pressuring. Be mindful of your chain combos. 
Yeah, I feel like there's going to be a lot to uh, learn with this combat system. Uh, oops, I didn't get you any skill uh, unlocks, did I? Chain combos. There usually is a lot of customization in Star Ocean. What's that one? Shadow Remnant. Generates Orbiting Chakram. Oh, I like the sound of that. Yeah, let's get that one. Uh, and some more intelligence. Alright, let's see. Chain combos. So has it... It hasn't equipped that automatically. Oh, you can even put one... Like, hold the square button to put a skill down. Ah. Right, let's try that then. Okay. Yeah, so hold square. I shall see to this. My hold square. Uh, oh, well, I guess I have to... Yeah, I have to be in combat for that to actually work. That makes sense. I love this dude's clothes physics. Pretty sweet. What's that over there? What is that over there? Oh, I'm supposed to be going this way. We'll just stick to the main path. I wonder if there's going to be a boss in the demo. I actually don't know how far the demo's going to go, or if you can carry over your progress. Because in most demos lately, you can do. Here we go. Pretty nifty. Yeah, this is this is gonna be fun. I think this is gonna be fun. No AP. I was wondering why I have different uh, amounts of AP. Maybe it's because we get the advantage. Sometimes, which gives you more. I'm not actually sure how that works. So quite Detected. a few steps to climb. Escape pod signal above current position. Oh. No passenger signal identified. Device is probably just busted. That's what I'm gonna tell myself. This is where the escape pod is, is it? I wonder who's gonna be in it. I mean it says there's no one, but I, it could be Elena. I'm gonna I'm gonna hope it's Elena, because Elena's awesome. Already huge, hugely crushing on her. Not just because of her physical appearance. Which is definitely designed a certain way to make you feel a certain way. Uh, not quite as bad as Star Ocean 4, though. I can't remember her name, the character, but you know which one I'm talking about. Bloody ridiculous. Some of the uh, designs were in that game. Finally made it to the ruins. Now let's head inside. There is no time to lose. There is definitely a boss fight in here. That is... Oh, yep. <laughs> There's certainly going to be one. Please, please, please be okay. <sighs> gotta be kidding me. What is it? Oh, is that some of the cargo? Elena. Why? Ray. Why'd I have to play the hero? Why couldn't I just get in a damn escape pod? Some captain I am. Elaine is not dead. No way. Uh, Ray! What is that? And more importantly, what's causing all the rumbling? Uh oh. Uh oh. What the heck is that? Beam production model 004213 activating. Confirmed. Life forms in need of protection. What? Whoa, hey, what the heck's this supposed to be? Warning. Warning. Hostile entities identified. 
Engaging defensive mode. Highness, are you all right? I believe so. But what? Yeah, what is this? Later. Right now, we we've got company. What's he doing? What the heck are you doing, Ray? What was that? Duma-based combat. During battles while Duma is with you, press R1 to perform special actions with Duma's help. Uh, when activated, this will consume the VA gauge. Uh, barrier. Holding down R1 will raise a barrier around your surround. Oh. So basically, that's a block. Uh... When you press R1, your character begins to float while the barrier is up. Release the button to make your charge. Oh my gosh. You can use that to avoid attacks. That's like a, an air dash. Uh, blindside. Oh, blindside. Blindside is when you change direction during a, a VA rush and the enemy loses sight of you. The enemy will be immobilized and suffer extra damage for a time. I am going to mess that up so hard. Right. Oh, they're throwing a lot of stuff at me here. A blindside that inca uh, incapacitates an enemy lasts for an amount of time based on the VA's gauge level. The symbols over the enemy's head tell you the remaining time. When they disappear, watch out. After changing directions during a VA attack, you will consume the VA gauge fully or only use 50% if you perform a blindside. What? Hitting enemies increase the VA gauge. Build up your gauge with attacks. Use blindside to damage an enemy heavily. Oh my lord. A blindside occurs if you suddenly disappear from an enemy's sight. To perform a blindside reliably, make a VA rush at an enemy looking straight ahead and change directions right before contact. This sounds difficult. You can blindside a large number of enemies together by changing directions during a VA attack. And, oh my lord, right. I bet I'm not going to even pull this off once, am I? I didn't I didn't do, <laughs> I didn't do it right. How do you change direction? How do you change direction? Oh there we go. Oh okay. Right. I was thinking I was just too close. Alright. I was that felt good. What about the barrier? I guess I'm... Whoa! Okay, this is gonna take some getting used to. This is weird. This is weird. I kinda like it, but this is weird. That is gonna take some getting used to. Oh, here we go. What the heck have they got there? Giant golem. Enemies with multiple target areas. Some enemies have multiple target. Yep. Yeah. Depending on the area that you attack, you might deal much more damage than striking the body, or you might make the enemy flinch with a few hits. Uh, can I? Whoa! He's got ah, laser beams. Yeah, we did a lot. Of wow! We did a lot of damage to him. But also, we are also- <laughs> we are dead, nearly. Um... Oh, I've got a minor firebolt thing? Oh, that's cool. But I re I should really revive, uh... Albert. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. 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 Alright, let's do some more healing. Alright, he's nearly he's nearly done, I think. Yeah, I didn't blindside that. There we go. Still didn't blindside. Ah, but we killed him anyway. Yeah, super easy. For real? The hell is this? I thought it was yours. More like in my care than actually mine. Hey, uh, Duma, was it? So, uh, what's your deal? <laughs> oh, so now you decide to give us the silent treatment. 
Why, it is just marvelous. Tell me, is this some new form of semiomancy? There's that word again. What, is it like your version of symbology or something? Symbology. Symbology. Uh, never mind. Uh, anyway, thanks you two. I really appreciate it. Oh, and while I'm at it, here. And what will you do once we part? Well, try and figure out where my friends are, for one. Uh, these lands are vast. What will you do for lodging, for food, for survival? What if your companions are across the sea? Would you swim? To that end, Ray, I have a proposition for you. Assist us in our journey, and we shall assist you in yours. Are you sure that's smart? Only thing you know about me is my name. And we ought rectify that at once, for learning more about the other is sure to benefit us both. Highness? Albert, should Raymond agree, he will be in our care. Whatever comes of this, I shall bear the consequences. Allow me to properly introduce myself. I am Leticia Asarius, Crown Princess of Asarius. And this is Albert Bergholm, my royal retainer. Oh, shoot. I thought he was kidding when he called you Highness. <laughs> oh, you think us liars? Uh, put yourself in my shoes. Doubt you'd be saying anything differently. <laughs> Indeed. Not over far from these ruins is the village of Larset. There, we shall find a quiet moment to talk. I, uh, might have to hold on to this for a while. Please do. Consider it a symbol of the trust we have placed in you. Well, guess me. They were just carrying that thing around? Like, they weren't using it. Ugh, morning already? Ooh, daytime! <sighs> Well, this is a fine mess we found ourselves in. Think of this as something new. Something extraordinary. Yeah. Alright, so, um, I'm probably gonna end the, the video here, chaps. Um, have a quick look around during the day, it's very pretty. This Larset place, oh. anywhere near here? We should be able to reach it by evening if we leave immediately. Uh... You do realize we're running on no sleep, don't you? If I may, I think I know how to make the trip a deal safer. We employ Duma. Its powers of levitation should let us skirt any dangers. That true? True. Yeah, I mean... Oh, we forget they are a bashful sort. How inconsiderate of us. <laughs> uh, I love Leticia. She's great. Search is using VA. Oh, wow. Okay, so yeah, I remember seeing when they announced this game that you could, like, fly around and stuff. I guess this is how you do it. Right. Holding R1, move the camera and release R1 to rush forward in a, forward in a direction. And uh, while in the air, press X to glide and descend slowly. While gliding, you can use the left stick to move or press X to stop. Okay. Yeah, in the combat though, I must admit that was a little bit overwhelming. I wasn't really because it's so quick. I wasn't really sure if I was doing it right. Well, that's fun though. Use VA charge by pressing and holding R1. Uh, releasing R1 will perform a VA to center of the screen or cancel with. Okay, so can I just like shoot up there? Whoa! And then glide. All right. So the the thing won't last forever. No, it doesn't. Okay. Hey, this is cool. So this is going to open up a lot of different exploration uh, options. Whoa! Yeah, I know, game. I've done it a few times now. Scan? Oh, is this going to reveal, like, items? What does scan do? It's nice music. Scan. You can scan to display direction of nearby treasure. Yep. Okay. So those things. Target sighted. Oh, nifty. What are those? Duma PTS. You can obtain DP. Duma points by collecting gems. You need DP to learn. Oh, we can strengthen and, and learn new Duma skills. 
Okay. Yeah, I feel like this game's got a lot of systems already, and uh, it would it's probably gonna... I know I keep saying this, it takes some getting used to. Sweet! But... Let's, let's, uh, let's fly down there. Whoa! And then glide. Nice! This is fun. I just really need to learn how to use Duma in battle, because, uh... Yeah, that, that whole blindside thing. I did it a couple of times, I think, but... Enemies I don't really down. feel in control. Aggression radar? God, so many bloomin' systems. When on standby, Duma's barrier is active. A circular radar will appear around your character. Icons will appear. Show enemy positions. Right. Oh, red circle enemies about to perform a deadly attack. Oh. Enemies who notice the active char uh, character will be looking straight ahead. Enemies about to attack will narrow the vision, making them an easy target for a blind side. Ah, I did a blind side there, I think. Think? So I've no VA gauge right now, so can't really do much. So I build it up. Ah, and I'm assuming only Ray can use the Duma thing. Oh no! No, it'll work on all of us. It just it just latches onto us. Cool. Wee. How exquisite! How exquisite! Big old uh, bunch of points. Oh wow, that's quite a view. Yeah, you know what? Overall, my impressions are actually very positive. As much as there is definitely going to be a learning curve with the combat, uh, I, I'm already kind of sucked in, and I I think based on just this demo, I think I've got to I've got to get this. I've got to get it. I. I I just hope that uh, I can get to grips with the combat, because there seems to be a lot going on already. Oh, you can jump and do that in mid-air. Cool. So this is- oh, this is great, actually. Surprise attack, bitch. Well timed to dodge. Yeah, we did that by accident. Um, when you perform a dodge and barely escape an attack, uh, this will increase the VA gauge. Okay. Making blind sides even more advantageous. Try it out. <laughs> you feel confident. I don't feel confident, no. We got a battle chain, too. Yeah, I'm probably never gonna dodge successfully. Or blind side. Oh, we really need to heal, too. Maybe a campsite anywhere nearby? So do they pop up on the map? They do. There's not really one anywhere near to us right now that I can see, at least. Big old crystal. I was going to stop playing this, but I'm keeping going. It's fun. Let's quickly check the uh, Duma points things. Let's upgrade our little friend. Synchro skill unlocked. VA attack, yeah. Inventory, Duma, right. So you get SP and DP, basically, which DP stands for something else usually. But anyway, um, assigned skills. I don't think I have any right now. Okay, so we can extend our scan. Reduce enemies' footsteps detection range by 25%, so we can be sneakier. Okay. Evasion gain, reduce assault. I think we should go for uh, more VA gauge gain when landing an attack. Can we do that? Do I have 50? No, I've only got 37. Okay. So we can't really spend anything right now. Can I land on top of this? Oh, I can! Oh, right. yeah! Oh, we got a Chimera. I've got to fight this thing before we end, chaps. Got to do it. Surprise attack. Destroying target areas. Uh, specific parts of some, some enemies have set HP. Mm -hmm. 
gaining additional rewards when the battle ends or disabling powerful skills. Nice. Bit of strategy. Love it. We've already killed it, though. <laughs> We've already killed it. We didn't have time. Uh, I think we just got a coin or something, then. Oh, yeah. During daytime, I actually think the graphics look pretty nice. With the environments, especially. And again, this is on frame rate uh, mode, so... Obviously, it's going to look a little bit sharper if you go for the resolution. Max AP increase? Every every two feet, this game's introducing more tutorials. The AP used for attacks increases temporarily whenever you successfully execute a blindside attack. This increase limit will be reduced if you take damage or knock down. Okay, so basically, the better you do in combat, the more AP you gain. AP can increase or decrease from a range of 5 to 15. If you use a VA to attack or defend... Uh, and then increase AP, you can launch more skill-based attacks. Right. Increasing max AP carries over even if you swap characters. God damn it. Yeah, I don't know if I've, if I've got the hang of the blind side yet. It feels like it's not completely crucial. You know, you can just get you can get by with slashing stuff, but if you want to get good at the combat, and it is fun when you pull it off, so I kind of like that. Uh, we really do need to heal. Where is there going to be a campsite? Well, again, I'm going to be ending the video any second now, chaps, I swear. But yeah, I'm enjoying this. I really, yeah, I think we'll end it here. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, if you have enjoyed the video, please do like, uh, subscribe, comment. Let me know what you think of uh, Star Ocean: The Divine Force. I think I'm going to be buying this game. I had a great time with this demo so far. Even even if there are a lot of of systems, like there's a lot to take in, and uh, I think you know, obviously playing the full game, you'll have time to get used to all of those. But in a short demo. Very little uh, chance to really get good, so to speak. But I'm enjoying it. I think I think this has a lot of promise. Oh, which is nice. It is very nice because, uh, again, the series as a whole has been pretty lackluster lately. Uh, oh, can we can change? Oh, we can customize your controls. That's nice. Like a lot of customization options here. Very good. You can save. Save any way we want. Yep. All right. Well, thank you for watching, everyone. Hope you enjoyed this video. And, uh, yeah, there's been so many demos out lately. There's, there's a lot of games coming out, guys. I think uh, this is out back end of October. So not too far off. And uh, I think I'm going to be getting it. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching, everyone. I will see you in the next video whenever that is. Bye-bye for now.